Hi there, everybody. I should do, I don't know why I always do that with my hands, but okay. Um, yeah, today I'm finally making the video of me organizing my Monster X shelves. Yeah, plural, because Monster X has 30 plus items in my collection at least, and that's why they require multiple shelves, unlike my other groups that I collect. So, yeah, Monster X released a lot and a lot of albums this year and the last time I organized my shelf was when they released Follow Find You which was in October of last year and now that the year has ended it's time for me to finally put away all of my Monster X stuff. Now I know I don't have everything that Monster X released this year like the All About Love album which was only released in the US which was reason why I wasn't able to get it and then you have uh, Fantasia yeah that album I wasn't able to get that because um, that album came out right when, when Corona was a thing and it was hard for me to buy albums at the time so I already bought a copy of All About Love. I'm also going to be organizing and changing how both shelves look. I don't have a clear your distinct idea of what it may exactly look like but we're just gonna go with the flow and film myself do it so yeah hope you enjoy this montage of me organizing my monster X shelves and these are not dusty like my last shelves because they have this glass door which prevents any dust from getting inside i mean a little dust gets inside but it's not that much so yeah Anyway, I have to be very careful because of my light sticks, and if I break my light sticks, I will actually cry. No joke. Without further ado, let's just begin this video and carefully take out the goddamn light stick. Okay, so we're gonna start with the second shelf because I feel like I have to do much more work with that, so let's start with the hardest thing. Yeah, I think Monster X is gonna need another shelf because, yeah, they're gonna need another shelf, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so now we are gonna do the top shelf, and apparently there is something behind these albums which I need to take out because I don't want to keep anything else with my Monster X albums. So. Oh my god, this thing, I haven't seen this in a year. I can explain, I'm not a serial killer, I swear. You see, I collect Nen- I used to, like four years ago, collect Nendroids. They're like anime figures, whatnot, and they come with face plates, and these are the extra face plates, and I kept them in this box. So, I like keeping Monster X's older, like uh, 2015, 2016 stuff on this shelf, and everything after this in, on this shelf. For, I don't know, I just like to do that. probably make this video all over again when Wano makes his comeback and then when I get the fantasy albums and the all about love albums and when Monster X makes another comeback next year before Shonu oh my god I don't want to talk about it <coughs> yeah so probably I will do this video again but yeah that is the end of me organizing my Monster X shelves and yeah thank you so much for watching I will be posting pictures of my shelves on my collector Instagram which is pandamon traits social media plug you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram but 
I don't know if you would like to follow me on Twitter because I get pretty ranty and I've been trying to avoid it because it's a cesspool of hate. But yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, congrats to Monster X on their first day song. I'm doing this video the day after it was announced and I'm so happy and I'm so proud of them. So yeah, as a Monbebe of like three and a half years who has been collecting them very thoroughly since I think Shine Forever dropped, I am so proud of them, all seven, and I love them all very, very much. So congrats to the best boys. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.